Hey guys, this is Jay Keeps here from the 710 Studios. Tough loss versus the LA Rams. Had a chance to win on the road, get a big win against a divisional opponent. Uh, obviously the last play of the game is fresh on everybody's mind and that was the play that really stood out to me and got the biggest reaction from everybody else. Everybody talking about how Russell Wilson should have hit that pass and completed it to Tyler Lockett. Um, when I went to look at the tape, I was really surprised by what I saw and I wanted to share it with you guys and just show you that sometimes there's other things that are going on that you might not be able to see from the TV copy. To me, this was a simple execution that went wrong and you had a chance to get a big conversion on 4th and 10 and unfortunately they weren't able to do that. So let's dive right in this play. So score is 36-31, fourth quarter, 26 le seconds left, it's 4th and 10. Have to convert this if you want to have a chance to win the game. Um, and again, been talking about this so much, can we come back and win the game uh, with one of the league's best quarterbacks in Russell Wilson? The Seahawks came out in a three by one formation, the three side being down here and the one side being up top. And what the Rams did is they played three double clouds. So what that means is that each corner played a deep third. Okay, They had deep third responsibility. And then the corners here are gonna play a soft flat route. Okay, So what that means are soft, soft zone in the flat. And what that means is that it's fourth and 10. They don't need to play up by the line of scrimmage like they normally would. Uh, they're going to play more by the sticks, trying to make the windows smaller and smaller. And these linebackers here are going to play hook to curl. Okay, So now that you know what the defense is, now I'll talk to you about the route concepts. So what was called here is a simple concept that all you're trying to do is just get to get past the sticks, get a completion past the sticks, and, and keep this drive alive. So you're going to clear everything out with Tyler Lockett running a go route here. You're going to have Doug Baldwin trying to run into the middle of the field and find the zone and sit in the zone by the sticks. And Jaron Brown is going to run and try and find the zone, a soft zone, uh, just past the sticks, and David Moore is going to try and do the same thing. Okay, so that's the concept that we have here. So on the snap of the football, and when Russell gets to the top of his drop, he immediately is received with pressure. Defensive end does a really good job getting off the ball uh, and, and gets to Russell at the top of his drop. So he immediately has to take off. So like I said, Tyler was running a clear out here, trying to occupy this corner. David Moore is trying to find a soft zone, and Doug is being double teamed here by both linebackers. He's the number one receiver, so obviously he's gonna attract the attention of this defense which leaves Jerron Brown wide open here in this soft zone. Russell Wilson sees him and wants to throw him the ball, but as he's running out of the pocket here, as you can see, he's being rushed and he's running out of the pocket. As he does this, Jerron Brown runs away from Russell Wilson and runs to get himself covered, which doesn't make him a viable receiver anymore. I was really shocked to see this because as a receiver, you are taught to once find that zone, sit in that zone, and if anything, you are gonna flow with your quarterback and try and get in his vision and stay in his vision. And instead, he runs and gets himself out of the play. And so if you look at the other side of it, Russell Wilson, when he saw, when as he was running out of the pocket, he saw Jerron Brown open and actually was ready to throw to him. So as you can see here, he's about to release, try to release the football. He sees him run into the middle of the field. He has to pull the ball back in. And then again, he gets his eyes late to Tyler Lockett, which makes this the difficulty of this throw that much higher. It was already a difficult throw to make, but then once you go from thinking you had one receiver open to now trying to get to the next guy with Aaron Donald screaming, screaming down your neck, it's really tough to get that ball off and completed. So again, when I watched the tape, my initial reaction when I watched the TV copy was, man, we, that's a tough one to complete, but we got to get it. And then when I watched the TV copy, or when I watched the coach's tape, I was really surprised to see what actually happened in this play and why Russell was surprised and eventually did not complete that pass versus Tyler Lockett. So uh, I know this is something that they'll review, they'll go over, uh, they'll re-go over their um, scramble rules, and they'll get this one fixed. But man, it was unfortunate to uh, be, not be able to execute in this situation in critical fourth down with an opportunity to go win the game.